Hello, I'm the artist Sandy Freckleton Gagan. I have painted this painting entitled Ember. It is oil on canvas on panel and the size is 11 by 14. I'd like to discuss with you the concept or inspiration behind this painting. When I was invited to participate in this show, the fires were burning in Australia. I heard on NPR that a billion wildlife species had been destroyed. I was moved to tears. What a catastrophic loss. After considerable research, I found a species of butterfly indigenous to the area of Australia. Butterflies have always been symbolic of regeneration, rebirth, metamorphosis, and transition. In my painting, the butterfly is employed to visually connect to the viewer in a visceral way. The title of the painting is Ember. I labored over this for weeks. I wanted a, a way of conveying the message of the painting in the title itself. The word ember means a fire that is symbolized by a spiritual energy that is beginning to die down, to lose its potency. To me, the butterfly also captures the fragile nature of the ecosystem to which it belongs. The butterfly I used as a symbol is the butterfly blue bottles or Graphium sarpedon. It is part of the swallowtail family. I found a vintage map of Australia from 1930. I wanted to represent the country before the fires, so I created the image of the butterfly whose wings were made from this map. I placed a burn matchstick to represent the body of the butterfly. The head of the match has been blackened by fire, symbolic of the fires in Australia. Beneath this, a second butterfly in all its realistic beauty is a symbolic counterpoint of what is lost and what can be found again. I chose a painting technique called trompe l'oeil. In French, it means to fool the eye because I thought it was applicable and enhanced the concept of the piece. It is an illusion that we as the human species can destroy the ecosystem and not experience dire consequences. Many feel helpless in the face of this and take action in whatever form they can. I believe in the power of one to promote change just like 15-year-old Greta of Sweden. Each of us has the capacity and responsibility to be guardians of what is most precious and dear. Just as an ember can be brought back to a controlled beneficial fire, we can each exercise our influence to bring about positive change, rebirth, and ultimate regeneration. I thank you for being with me and for this experience to be in this exhibit at this time. Thank you.